Hey, what is up everyone? I hope all of you are doing great. And in today's question, we have a uniform sphere of radius r and mass m is rotating with an angular velocity omega naught i cap. Oh, so it's rotating with respect to the x axis. In free space, a bullet of mass small m moving in the positive z direction hits the sphere at a distance 0.2 r okay, uh, from the z axis. Now, at a distance point to r from the z axis can be in any orientation that uh, I mean they have not mentioned the plane or the actual coordinate of hitting the sphere. Okay, fine, uh, comes out in no time with a vanishingly small velocity without any appreciable loss of mass of the sphere. As a result, the sphere starts rotating with an angular velocity omega naught about y axis. Okay, now it becomes omega naught j cap in such a way that point p appears moving in the positive z direction find velocity of the mass center of the sphere after its interaction with the bullet okay fine now see this is the diagram that has been provided in the question okay so this sphere is rotating with respect to x axis like this okay mm, now i am observing the same figure while keeping my eye in such a way that the z axis points towards my eye right so the diagram would look something like this in the 2d plane see this is the x axis this is the y axis and the z axis is pointing out of the screen right so this diagram is before the bullet hits the sphere uh, now let us see what are these variables it is it has been said that the bullet is hitting the sphere uh, at a distance 0.2 r from the center and the direction of velocity of the bullet is along z axis so the bullet can be oriented in any one of these points which makes a circle right so i have considered that the bullet is hitting at this point uh, at a distance 0.2 capital r and it makes an angle theta this line makes an angle theta with the positive y axis okay so just before hitting u is the velocity of the bullet of mass small m of course and the whole the sphere is rotating with an angular velocity omega naught with respect to x axis this is the point p okay now just after the collision after the hitting after the bullet comes out of the sphere the velocity of the bullet becomes zero so i have not written anything here this angle is theta this is r of course v is the speed of the sphere actually speed of the center of mass of the sphere towards positive z axis of course it would be in the positive z axis um, because the initial linear momentum was along the positive z so final linear momentum will also be along the positive z right this one is point p this one is angular velocity omega naught right okay fine okay yeah of course that sphere is now rotating with respect to positive y axis good so first let us find out the value of theta now j is the impulse applied on the sphere which is towards the positive z of course the bullet is hitting is coming towards your face right so the impulsive force will be along positive z now due to this j due to this impulse there will be an angular impulse okay uh, of course, the angular impulse will be along with respect to x axis as well as with respect to y axis. So, first let us see along x axis. So, angular impulse with respect to x axis is j times this perpendicular distance that is r cos theta. So, j times r cos theta equals to uh, angular momentum, final angular momentum minus initial angular momentum, which is along x axis, which is 0 minus i omega naught. So, I have taken the magnitudes here only. Right. Similarly, for the y axis, uh, the perpendicular distance is r sin theta. So, j times r sin theta equals to final angular momentum minus initial angular momentum. Where i is the moment of inertia of the solid sphere, which we will take as 2 by 5 m r square. Right. For theta, we solve 1 and 2, we get 45 degrees. Just divide these two, two equations. Fine. Now, this impulse also increases the linear momentum of the sphere. So, j is equal to final linear momentum along z of course j is along the z axis so final linear momentum of the solid sphere 
is m times v and initial was 0. So, v is the velocity of the center of mass of course. So, v is j by m. So, j we can get from any one of these two equations I took the second one. So, j is i omega naught by r sin theta. So, just put the value of j here i omega naught divided by r sin theta. So, i is 2 by 5 m r square omega naught small r is 0 0.2 capital R already given in the question theta is 45 degree. So, just put the values you get the velocity of the center of mass just after collision and the direction is along positive z. So, I have placed here k cap pretty simple question I hope you all have enjoyed the solution and if you are new to this channel you should subscribe and it is free right. So, you can just subscribe the channel if you like the video give a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one peace.